Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Tech Tiger Academy, my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm Ravi Malhotra, guys, your instructor for this uh, Fortinet 40 Gate Firewall NSE4 learning series. Um, this series is part of uh, Learn Cybersecurity with Ravi Malhotra. And uh, we have reached lecture number nine, and this is going to be real lab number one. Okay. Um, just please go through my previous lectures. So from lecture number one to lecture number eight to get more clarity uh, on the concepts right and the architectural topics about the 40 gate firewall uh, so let me move now uh, this particular lecture guys will help you uh, to do readiness on the vmware workstation i tell you once again this whole lab is going to be on vmware workstation we are not using any appliance or any hardware uh, and every lab we will do either it is VPN or it is high availability or it is IDS IPS you know application and URL filtering anything that we will do we will do it on the VMware workstation virtual 40 net firewall all right and before you do that you really need to do readiness on the VMware workstation and this is what I'm going to help you in this lecture so please um, um, you know uh, so just pay attention guys first thing that we need to understand is you know is the prerequisite over here uh, so the prerequisite is that uh, <clears throat> before you download and install VMware is that you need to have Microsoft Windows 10 as an operating system all right Next is that you need to have an internet connectivity. Uh, a candidate must have knowledge on TCP IP and basic networking concepts like VLAN, IP addressing, subnetting, routing and all that. And candidate must have basic knowledge on virtualization also, right? Uh, then what you need to do, you need to download VMware Workstation 15 Pro, okay? For Windows, that's the software guys. You need to download that and then you need to once it is downloaded then you need to install Windows 15 Pro once downloaded successfully it will ask for reboot all right so reboot it once it is installed you can refer to these of my links to download the VMware workstation 15 Pro that's the link right you I will Put this link into the description uh, tab of the video you you can just take it from there right uh, and you know once this is downloaded and installed then you need a license key uh, to use this software forever okay and uh, just use this link to to get this license keys right from the github that's the link right so I believe if you follow step number one, step number two, step number three, A and B, all right? I believe that you should have VMware Workstation 15 Pro ready on your laptop or desktop to be used, okay? Apply the licenses key and then reboot the workstation, right? Make sure that you do it and then you are ready to go, guys. Um, <clears throat> after that you know once it is downloaded and installed then we need to do the next step which is more important that is that we need to uh, configure the networking part of the VMware workstation okay so understand let us let us see the objective of this specific slide you know in this slide we will learn that how to create different types of networks in VMware so that you can create a simulated environment right so we would like to create a management VLAN we would like to create an internet VLAN link one with the Tata another internet VLAN link with the SIFI we will create inside VLAN, DMZ VLAN, App VLAN, 
and because it's a VLAN, so each VLAN has a different subnet, right? See that the management VLAN we will refer as 200.0 slash 24. It is 137.0 slash 24. It is 237.0 slash 24. It is 70.0 slash 24. It is 80.0 slash 24 and then what the last one is 10.1.20.0 slash 24. So this is the objective of this course and I'm going to show you how to do it now. Okay. I believe that the VMware workstation is uh, downloaded, installed, licensed on your laptop and it is rebooted once. Okay. So, <clears throat> So the first thing that we need to do is I launch VMware workstation with administrative privilege. That's what we'll do. We'll go to the edit menu and we'll go to virtual network editor tab. All right. Let me see if my VMware is already running. All right. So my VMware is here. All right. So my VMware is here, guys. Uh, let me stop these virtual machines. By the way, right, this is, uh, I have a very busy VMware. You can see uh, that I'm running everything. I'm running F5, I'm running Checkpoint, I'm running Radware, I'm running Palo Alto, I'm running Barracuda, Nexus, everything I'm running on VMware. So as per my slides, I'll go to Edit Menu. Right, and then I'll click on virtual network editor. Okay, I'll click on this. Once I click on this, uh, I need to click on the change because I need to log in with the administrative privileges. Once I click on this, I say yes. Let us so this piece is done. Okay, launch VMware workstation. Click on the edit menu, click on virtual network editor under edit menu. This piece is done. Let us move ahead now. What we need to do is that the moment you click on edit uh, virtual network editor, you will see something like this, you know, add network. You need to click on this. So click on add network in the virtual network editor dialog box. So I'll click on edit virtual network editor. I'll click on add network all right and I'll select VMnet 0 and I'll click on OK you can see over here select a network to add select VMnet 0 and uh, now select VMnet 0 in the list and do the following configuration for VMnet this is what all I'm going to do so once I selected the VMnet 0 it will show over here I will select the VMnet 0 now select VMNet 0 in the list and do the following configuration. VMNet information, I need to select on select host only. Okay. So, all right, this is, this is checked, select host only. Next is that select the box, connect a host virtual adapter to this network. All right. I'll, I'll do yes, connect a host virtual adapter to this network. I will select this option select the box use local DHCP service to distribute IP addresses to VMs use local DHCP service to distribute IP addresses to VM I will check this box subnet I need to use 192.168.200.0 so let me change it from 139 to 200.0 subnet mask is slash 24 and I'll click on apply and I'll click on it will take some time guys let it take some time it will be and then I'll click on OK okay let me take you to the next slide right so this this slide is done so in this slide we configured uh, a network with the 192.168.200.0 for VMNet 0 virtual network. Okay. 
<clears throat> now add additional networks to create more VLANs. Select a network to add. Select VMNet 1, 2, 3, 11 and 12 one by one. Let me do that now, okay? So this is done. I'll click on add network. I'll click on one, okay? I will click on again add network. I will choose VMNet 2. I'll click on OK. I will click on add network. I will select VMNet 3. I'll click OK. Uh, next I need to add is VMNet 11 and 12. Okay. I'll click on add network. I'll go to VMNet 11. Okay. And then the last network I'll add is uh, VMNet 12. All right. I'll click on okay. All right, so once these networks are added, right, I need to configure them. So select the network to add. So this piece is done. Okay. Configure all virtual networks as per parameters below. VMNet 0 is done for the 200.0. That is my management VLAN. Next is VMNet 1, 2, 3. So every, so let us do VMNet 1 now. It's VMNet information is going to be host only. Let me select VMNet 1. I will select host only. Host virtual adapter. Host virtual adapter is checked. Local DHCP service is unchecked. I will uncheck this service. IP and subnet details 192.168.137.0. I'll change it from 59 to 137.0/24. I will now select VMNet 2. Okay. VMNet 2 is again host only. I will select host only. It is check. It is, uh, it is, uh, yeah, it is, it, it is check. Host virtual adapter is check. Uh, local DHCP service is check. Let's check its network is 192.168.70.0. 192.168.70.0. Fine. I'll go to VMNet 3. VMNet 3. It's host only. It is host only. And then it is host virtual adapter is checked and local DHCP service is checked. Both the options are checked. And subnet it is going to be 80.0 slash 24. So it is 80.0 slash 24. And the next is VMNet 11. VMNet 11. It is going to be host only. Fine. Host virtual adapter check. Fine. DHCP uncheck. Uncheck. And it is network is going to be 192.168.237. It is 227, 237.0 slash 24. And the other network is VMNet 12. It is host only. It is check. Both the options are check and check. And the network is 10.1.20.0. All right, so 10.1.20. 20.0 slash 24. I believe done. So all these networks are configured as per my table. I'll click on apply. It will take some time. I, I expect it to take at least one to two minutes because it has to configure um, six interfaces. Okay. So let it take time and let us go back to the slides. All right. So this slide is done, guys. Let me move to the other slide now.
and that is a uh, virtual network adapter details on the local system that's very important now it says that check interfaces on your computer laptop with a command in the run box ncpa.cpl that's the command to see network connections okay in your computer so once you do that it says that you will see virtual NIC cards installed on your computer with the following properties you'll see virtual network adapter vmnet 0 1 2 3 11 and 12 and just try to remember each network 200 137 70 80 237 each of these vlans has got the dot one ip address okay each of these vlan has a host virtual adapter created because we check the option and each of these host virtual adapters have got dot one in the vlan ip on the local system itself so let me first of all check that so let me just go to this all right this is done i'll click on ok and now i will go to my run box i will say ncpa.cpl i will hit enter all right so here you go guys i see all right i see virtual network adapter one i see two i see 12 i see 11 i see three right so all these interfaces i see over there okay uh, and then i'll go back each of them have got ip address in a series dot one let me show you that let me show you maybe this vmnet 2 okay so vmnet 2 i'll go to details it is 70.1 all right i'll go to vmnet 3 i'll go to details it is 80.1 vmnet 11 this is uh, details 237.1 and the last one 12 is 10.1.20.1 all right so so far going smooth this piece is done guys we see these ips addresses and network host virtual adapters created on my laptop done done on the local system itself go to command prompt and trying to ping each of these ips so i'll go to command prompt okay I'll go to ping 192.168.70.1. I'm able to ping that. The TTL is 128. I will ping 80.1. I can ping that. I will ping, you know, 237.1. I can ping that. I'll ping 137.1. I can ping that. I will ping 10.1.20.1. I can ping that. Also, oh, wonderful, guys. So, all these IPs are pingable from my command prompt, virtual host, virtual adapters have been created on my system. And um, so far, we have done a wonderful job with the readiness uh, of the VMware to do the labs of my 40 get firewall virtual machine lab number one is finished guys thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, please uh, leave some comments like the video and please share it to your friends i'm running short of uh, you know subscribers and viewers so please help me in in uh, you know in in promoting my videos and my efforts guys Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day to all of you. Um, let us let us start the next lecture. Okay, so have a wonderful day, guys, to all of you. Bye.